Hi, I'm about to show you how to convert a Ready Player Me character, like that one, so you could use it with Mixmo and blend on motions. And in order to do that, you need the FBX format. And it's not as simple as, oh, let me just export it as FBX. No, there's a, now with the new version of Ready Player Me, there's a little extra step that you have to do, but don't worry, I'll walk you through that step. It's no big deal. It's gonna take three minutes or less as long as you have Blender on your machine. And this way your character won't look like this, right? Scary. So, if you follow these steps, you'll be good to go, getting your character's motions applied to it, and then bring it into Unity, Unreal, Maya, wherever else you need an FBX file. Stay tuned, at the end of this video, I'll show you a shortcut. Instead of taking five minutes to learn this process, you don't have to learn anything. I created this drag and drop tool out there on the web, and I'll show you how to get access to this at the end of this video, which will save you a lot of time. But first, I'm gonna show you the full technique. The first step in getting your Ready Player Me character is to go to Ready Player Me, which is readyplayer.me, and click on Create Avatar. You can choose different avatar types. If you have a photo, it'll shape the face based upon that photo. So let's pick a file, and this could be yourself or someone else. A Taylor Swift photo, accept it. And this is just a shortcut to manually configuring the face and things like that. Just see this as a starting point. From here, you could choose different face shapes. You could click on eyes to choose different eye colors. And I'll leave the rest of expiration up to you. Off to the right side, different hair types, different, different clothing. And when you're satisfied with everything, click on enter hub. To download this file of your character, just click here and then click this link and your download's done let's take a look at your download so here's your download which is glb file that will open up in blender because maya and other applications don't accept glb so it's very important to be able to convert it into something that you need file import and i'm going to select this file in order to see the character with all of its textures click this icon right here and just wait a moment to get this into an fbx format it actually takes two steps in order to convert all the textures properly the first step is just to do a file export export gltf which is the current file format but instead of choosing binary choose gltf with separate file description and separate textures and this is just to unify, to normalize all the textures. I'll make a new folder and that I'll make a new folder and let me rename this folder. I'll call it my GLTF version. Double click that and export. Next, make a new scene. And this is going to be the last step after importing. Going to delete this object. File, import. and import gltf and we're going to import the thing that we just exported i know it sounds silly kind of this circular move here but this will work out and that's what matters for a production making sure what you do just works so i'm going to import this one i didn't give it a name i should have gave it a good name but i didn't i will on this time all right just to prove everything's still working just click on that dot right there excellent and the final thing to do is to get into FBX format. File, export, and now FBX. This time I'll make a new folder and I'll call this folder FBX. And th this is very important for path mode, copy. And then click this icon for embedding all those new textures that were just copied into this FBX. And that's all you have to do. Click on export FBX. And you're done. I still didn't give a good name, but let's take a look at it. So here's the file, and I can import this file back into Blender. Instead, let's just go to Mixamo. So now the file is about to show up with all the textures on it. Excellent, and your character is ready to be animated. Just to quickly demo what happens if you don't convert your file through the process that I just showed you. Let's say you open up that GLB file. Here's the original GLB file, and let's skip the step of saving out as a GLTF with the separate files. 
and take a note of the face, in particular the eyes. All right, let's go straight out. File, export, FBX, making sure to copy all the textures and to embed all those textures. And I'll call this, and I'll call this character test three, and I'll put it into folder, export, then import it and see what happens. File, import, file, new, don't save, and import that FBX that you just created directly. Here's character test three. Looks good, right? Model, excellent. But wait a second, what happens when you look at the texture level? Yeah, um, something went wrong there. This is why I showed the earlier process. I know it's a little extra steps, but it will give you the right results. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. And also please subscribe. Remember, through your subscriptions, well, I get a little encouragement to continue making these videos. As a bonus though, remember this five minute long video? I could do this in 30 seconds and you can too. I made this wonderful tool came up with this drag and drop solution. This beats several steps that won't even work. You don't need any software installed, just drag and drop on the web. And just like that, you now have your FBX that works. And this tool will cut the town the time from maybe three minutes down to a minute or even 30 seconds if you have a great internet connection. How do you get access to this beta tool that I built out there on the web? Easy, if I get a hundred new subscriptions, um you'll have access to the tool. So help me get subscribers and I'll help you out. And I look forward to sharing this new tool with you. I created this tool to be able to streamline the process of getting a FBX from a GLB file. It's even listed here on the Ready Player Me website. 11 steps to create an FBX file. So the FBX file format is important. That's why I created this solution. The quickest way, no software needed. You could use Maya, Unity, or Mixamo to create cool, animations, you need your FBX format. See right here on Mixmo, FBX. You could go to Blender and open up your character in Blender and save it out as an FBX file format. But wait, if you open up that same FBX that was just saved from Blender, look what happens. See, something seems a little off with the texture mapping. And this isn't just a Blender thing. If you open up in Maya, you get the same distortion as well. So to fix all this, came up with this drag and drop solution. This beats several steps that won't even work. You don't need any software installed. Just drag and drop on the web. And just like that, you now have your FBX that works.